50 million years ago, when the supercontinent Gondwana broke apart, an immense piece of land set out on a solitary journey northwards. This enormous island that we now know as Australia would permit the survival of extraordinary, unique groups of mammals. The isolation of Australia permitted the diversification and expansion of a group which the pleasantary mammals did not allow to prosper in the rest of the world, and would also permit the survival of another group of mammals in clear decline, a group so old that though they are mammals, they lay eggs. As a result, Australia became the land of the marsupials and the monotremes, a world of different mammals unknown in the rest of the world. But its isolation would not last forever. Like Madagascar, Australia was also eventually discovered by man though in this case much earlier. Man disembarked on the southern continent approximately 50,000 years ago. Those first aborigines proved to be respectful towards the nature of their new land. Their gods were reflected in the animals and plants of the Terra Australis, arousing respect and admiration which they skillfully transmitted in their paintings. Earth is the mother and men who owe their lives to her, venerate, respect and protect her. That was the teaching of an ancient people which was passed on from generation to generation. But despite his veneration and respect for the natural environment, Man became the origin of profound changes. When it arrived in Australia, our species brought with it powerful weapons of destruction that would bring an end to the peace and isolation of the island continent forever. Man learned how to use fire and acquired the destructive power of the storm and lightning. New hunters brought new, more efficient, and more deadly weapons. And the arrival of the Aborigines was accompanied by new species, new animals. Hunters that were the result of the brutal competition in the other continents. Australia would undergo major changes, but these came gradually and nature was able to absorb the impact. But today, when man is recovering his interest in and respect for the nature he has been destroying for centuries, Australia faces a new, invisible and devastating threat. The world of modern man has an insatiable need for energy. We have all become dependent on constantly growing energy consumption. The problem arises from an uncompleted process. Because we have learned to obtain and use energy, but we do not know what to do with the toxic waste generated by energy consumption. At first, we did not think this contamination was important. But the unstoppable increase in contaminating emissions is poisoning our world so much that its fabulous self-cleaning processes are unable to cope. Now the contaminating gases are changing the climate of the planet. And it is in places like Australia that we are starting to see the terrible repercussions this may have worldwide.